My name is Luis Argueta, and I'm the director and producer of the documentary Abused, The Postville Raid, uh, a film about the effects of immigration policies on families, children, and communities, and uh, also a cautionary tale about the abuses of governmental powers. Um, it relates the, the story of the, uh, at the time, what was the largest immigration raid in the history of the U.S., uh, one of the most controversial and uh, the most expensive in the history of the country. I'm very honored to be part of this film series. I think that um, as somebody who, who lives in New York and who lived the 9-11 uh, events and the aftermath very closely, uh, I think it's extremely important to um, think about what has transpired in the last 10 years. Um, personally, I was affected um, in a particular way. I, I decided not to do commercials anymore. I was directing commercials and I had done for many years and was very successful at it. And I'm very thankful to the advertising industry, but I felt that I had a little bit of my soul still left and I wasn't going to sell that. So I put all my energy into doing documentaries. And uh, in these last 10 years, I've done a couple documentaries, but the one that I'm especially proud of is, is Abused. Um, I've spent the last three and a half years of my life doing it. It has transformed me, uh, and I think it's a story that every citizen of this country should, should know. And hopefully it contributes to what I call a new narrative about immigration. I think that we um, sometimes simplify things and, and are uh, prone to thinking of immigrants as the other, as somebody who's an enemy to be feared. And, and what I want to do is the reverse. I want us to see and think and, and look at the immigrants as ourselves. And, and not as an enemy to be feared, but as a neighbor to be welcomed. One that contributes with, with their work, with their taxes, with their children, with their energy, um, to, to what this country is. And uh, to be more compassionate, you know, in the sense of feeling with the other, walking in the shoes of the other. I think that that, that will help us see this human face of, of immigration. And when we do that, I think we will recuperate some of our humanity.